you know, I hear people say, I got this great, I'm excited. We got this, this building, or we got this, uh, this new ministry where we, we, the Lord told us to, to, to launch or whatever. Some they're excited about something. Yeah. My question is always, well, how is that going to happen? Are, I, how are you going to develop that yeah. exciting vision? Because all these great dreams have to break down into some kind of strategic plan. Yep. Executable. Yeah. Something that you're like, how, how are we going to be further along this time next year? Right. And we're going to pray more. Well, that's great. Let's do that, please. Um, we're we're going to, um, you know, a lot of times we just have these kind of sort of random things. This is what we're going to do. But let's get in a room. Let's get a whiteboard out and let's put a plan together with steps that can get us to that place. I think what happens when you do that is you oftentimes see things you didn't see before. Um, sometimes you can see that, okay, this can, we can do this sooner than we thought, or sometimes it's going to take longer than we thought. So, um, I don't know. I'm just, I I just feel, I have this sense of, uh, lately of like trying to help, help guys develop, let's develop this. How do we develop this church? How do we develop this, this ministry? How do we develop this business? Um, how do we, how do we get bigger? How do we actually achieve the goals that God's put in our heart rather than just, this is what we, we want to build a great church. How, 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 how are we going to do it? Yeah. How are we going to reach more people? How are we going to move into that new building? How are we going to add that second service or that third service? How are we going to, how are we going to grow our staff? How are we going to make sure our staff feels connected and taken care of? All that is like the development piece. And then I, I put adjust in there because every plan has to be adjusted. Yep, flexibility. I never know. I, I, I've never known a plan that we've put into place that didn't need some kind of tweak. Right? It needed adjustment. Yeah. Like we just didn't know until we got in it, and um, we didn't. You know, we didn't. We didn't have the information until we started down the track. So, um, so I think you're going to supercharge your year. Put some plans in place. Don't just talk about dreams and vision and put some put some planning in place. Yeah. We want to add another, we want to add another location. Like yeah. let's back up. Okay. How much money, you know, wh- where, first of all, how much money is it going to take to get the, is there venues available there? How much is it going to cost? Do we have the leaders? Um, and, and behind every one of those questions, there's another set of questions. Who, who are the leaders? Yep. Uh, we don't have them yet. How are we going to get them? You know, like let, let, let Let's not let those kind of questions stop us in our track, but actually propel us to move forward and to, to um, does it make sense? Yeah. Know, you know, yeah, yeah. To develop this, one develop of things, this thing. One of the know? things when it comes to development, it's a little bit of a different part of this conversation, but I hear you talk about all the time is the ability to work on something and not just in something right. and just how important it is to take time as a leader, as a team to zoom out of the day-to-day events, calendar, next event, next event, next event, but like, pause and let's look at what we're actually doing and how do we actually work on yeah. this ministry or on this strategy so that we're we're moving forward more than just moving forward in the calendar we're moving forward in strategy as well you know it's like what's your person okay what's your personality like when an opportunity comes do you naturally say no we can't do that yeah oh, or do yeah, you naturally crazy. say yes we can do that and i think both extremes may not be the best yeah the middle of the ground is i'm not sure let me figure out if we right. can do that um, I have definitely, you know, overextended the church before because we said yes to too much. I'm typically not the person that says, no, we can't do that. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you say, no, we can't do that because you haven't planned mm. and you don't know what kind of capacity you have because you haven't laid out the plans. Um, so anyway, I just, I could keep going on on and on with that one. Strategic planning, I think is, is a real spiritual practice and a real spiritual process even planning to get better right yeah. we have kids life well how are we going to get better how right. are we going to reach more kids how do we train the teachers better what's our security protocols you can always get better that requires planning too how are we getting better at reaching students how are we right. getting better in worship you know yeah. yep. so it's not just about new yep right ground that we're taking but planning or getting better also requires planning 